If you ever thought you'd see crazy horsepower numbers in a truck, it probably would be no surprise that it would come from Ram. Back in the day, Dodge built the SRT10 Ram with the 8.3 liter V10 out of the Viper, but more recently they have been teasing us with rumors of an all new off-road based Ram that steals its heart from nothing other than the Hellcat. So will this truck outdo the Ford Raptor? We dove into the details to find out what's the hype with the Ram Rebel TRX. So way back in 2016, Ram gave us the first glimpse of the concept model TRX and people really got excited. Other than Ford, no one was really offering a pickup that was both fast and capable off-road. The TRX concept had a ton of awesome features, both inside and out, that all had performance in mind. Suspension was provided by King with coilovers up front and King 2.5s out back that gave the truck 13 inches of travel. The whole truck itself was wider by about 5 inches to fit the factory 18 inch beadlocks and 37 1350 open country MT tires and this was a big deal. Plus it had two full size spares in the bed. As far as I'm aware there's no other pickup truck that comes from the factory with 37s or Kings for that matter. Inside the cab there are six point racing harnesses, a flat bottom steering wheel that looked like it was borrowed from the new Viper, and the door handles were replaced with door pulls to save weight. All of this seemed a little bit intense for a stock truck, but then again the Fiat Chrysler Group who owns the Ram brand kind of has a reputation for doing crazy things in production cars. Like uh, y'all remember the Hellcat, right? And then they went and they made the Demon? And don't get mad at me for talking about cars on the truck channel because guess what? Ram took that 6.2 liter supercharged V8 straight out of your daddy's Hellcat and stuffed it in the TRX concept. Add on a 5 inch exhaust with side exits built into the rock sliders and you've got one heck of a machine. But of course this was only a concept and it was uh, 2016 so where are we at now? Well, when Ram launched the new 5th gen Ram 1500 with its all new redesign for 2019, we got a bit of a hidden message in one of the photos. On the massive screen on the interior shots, the time was 7.07, .07, which may not seem significant, but Dodge pulled this same trick before unveiling the 707 horsepower Hellcat. This kind of confirms that there will be a Rebel TRX in the new 5th gen chassis, and it'll boast that 700 horsepower engine. Fingers crossed that they give us the full power because back in 2016, the Hellcat engine in the concept was actually detuned to only 575 horsepower. Now, if you're wondering what TRX stands for, well, it's literally T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex. Why? Well, I'm not a paleontologist, but I do know that a T-Rex is bigger than a Raptor. <laughs> From what we know now, I believe the production model Ram Rebel TRX will be released this year at the Detroit Auto Show. Spy shots have started to increase and last year we saw a whole group of blacked out Rams testing at Silver Lake Sand Dunes in Michigan, which isn't that far from where these trucks will be built. These trucks obviously were not production models as some of the photos showed us that trucks had 8 lug axles in the rear and were 6 lug up front. So the question is, is Ram going to use 8 lugs all the way around on a half ton pickup? I'm sure they wouldn't have two different bolt patterns because that would just make it a nightmare to buy wheel and tire packages, but if they do go with the 8-lug, I think that might make sense. Many of the 8-lug wheels we sell on our site have a higher weight rating and are stronger than their 6-lug counterparts because they are built for heavy-duty trucks. This means that you'll have super strong wheels on your 700 plus horsepower off-road overlanding Baja pickup. Looking into the financials a bit, it's confirmed Ram will be making the TRX truck. We just can't quite confirm what it will be equipped with. An assembly division document that goes over upcoming investments for Fiat Chrysler shows a $210 million investment into the Sterling Heights plant, and in the details it says new TRX launch 2020, as well as a potential workforce increase of 200 employees just for the TRX project. I'm just stoked to have a truck that can run 37s from the factory because that means one of you guys will throw a leveling kit on it and stuff 40s underneath it. So what do you think? Let us know if the Ram Rebel TRX lives up to the hype. 